Now, more and more of our electricity comes from the wind, but what do you do when there's too much of it about? After all, you can't bottle it, or can you? At the moment, around 3% of the UK's electricity comes from wind power. But because you can't control how much wind there is, the wasted energy costs the taxpayer £24 million a year. But by 2020, the government wants 20% of our electricity to come from the wind, and without any means of storing excess power, that could cost the taxpayer millions. But as our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports, a solution could be on the way. A windy day and offshore turbines sending electricity to the grid at maximum levels, churning out power for people's homes. But there can be times when the grid is in danger of overloading, and so wind farms are switched off. But now there's a new technology, able to store the energy for when it's needed. If you're going to bring renewables onto the grid in any sort of big, big volume as we're planning, um, you'd need energy storage because you, otherwise you're just going to have a, energy at the wrong time and you're going to have to turn on diesel gensets, open cycle gas turbines to keep servicing the peaks when people turn the kettles on. Um, and what this does is it uses lots of sort of standard mature components but in a novel way um, to deliver a solution which can deliver energy storage at large scale. Using batteries to store energy is expensive and difficult. So how does this plant work? Well, we take the electricity from the grid and we use that to drive a, a compressor, which compresses the air to high pressure. We then put the air at the top of this, which is our fridge. And as it goes down this, this big column, it's progressively cooled and it ends up as liquid at the bottom, which then goes into our storage tank, which is just here. But the crucial stage is turning this liquid air into electricity on demand. In a power station they, they use water which they then heat up to high temperature to turn it to steam and then expand it through, through a turbine. We can use the, uh, the heat in the air around us to, uh, to warm up our liquid air and then we can expand that through a turbine to, to make electricity in a very similar way but using less energy. This is a small pilot project, but the aim is for a network of bigger plants. The developers say it's clean, simple and a UK design. Without this sort of technology that, that, that uh, is available here and now, today being actually deployed by government and built into their plans for the future, um, when we, we really do run the risk of uh, wasting enormous amounts of energy into the future and, and then incurring extra uh, costs to the taxpayer and the consumer that we don't need to do. A simple solution, perhaps, using our most abundant resource. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Slough.